Hello, hello, everybody. Today we are going to be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky playthrough. Wait, how are there three likes if I'm the only one here? But the YouTube is weird. It, they're like, how, how do we count a like a view? It's like, their whole algorithm's weird and how they calculate things. I don't understand it. But tonight, we are going to be continuing the post-game because we have completed all of the special episodes, which I enjoyed all of them pretty, pretty good. The last one was utterly amazing, a wonderful epilogue to the whole thing. And then the last post-game thing we did was freeing Caesar from the Blizzard Isle and a Frost Lass, and so he got basically Attorney at Law Cavemaned. It's decades later, poor guy, and then the first thing he did was give this random rescue team that saved him the secret team, or like secret rank status, so that we can do espionage, espionage stuff for the government now, I guess. But, I'm not sure when exactly the next post-game post-game will begin, the next like arc. Or if they'll just point us in a direction and say, go kill another god. We'll have to wait and see. And once again, big thank you to the people behind whose efforts led to the creation of the Expanded Sky ROM hack, which allows Zoro and Neon to exist. We're gonna have to do so much recycling. Uh, let's talk to everybody, because these people were not here before. We finally agreed on something that we both prized. That treasure is none other than the Golden Apple. So, do we know anything about it? I don't think Golden Apple would be good. I think it's mostly, like, Greek myth tragedy up in there. I want a Golden Apple. Oh, I must have it. But there's been a precious little information about it. We're gonna have to do so much recycling, because I think our inventory just got blew up. Oh, is that right? Secret ring, you say? There's such a mysterious ring to it. How exciting! Why are we telling people that we're secret rank? You'd think that if it was a secret rank, you'd want to keep it secret. I forget. Did we give you an egg? I don't think we gave you an egg. I think we don't get it. Mm. <laughs> All right, we will stock up on blue gummies. Although I don't think I have that many gummies, mostly because I've been in the habit of just downing them all at the Spindus Cafe. And he's still here. What do you have to say? My goodness, you two are something else. To rescue an explorer of such legendary status as Scizor. We are a god up in here. <laughs> Sorry, I was grabbing water. No problem. Remember... You gotta stay hydrated when you go to kill God. Remember, everybody, drink your tea, stay hydrated, kill God. What's a recycle shop? My dude, the recycle shop has been here for months. I'm fairly certain we're passing a year having gone by since a recycle shop opened up here, my dude. I think you need to see a doctor. Learning things takes too much effort. Also, is it just me, or does his eyes look like Pokeballs? That might be intentional, but it is freaky. <laughs> years. It can't have been years, because we get here at some point, and at least, like, a few weeks pass. Then Spindus Cafe opens. Then at least a few months pass by for the whole, like, oh, going on expedition, Dust Noir comes by, Time Gear Thief, bibbidi ba. And so a few months <laughs> pass between us getting here and then disappearing. Then a few more months pass between us dying and Silas going back to tell everybody what happened. And the moral is don't let Temporal Tower die. And then a few, uh, then we come back after a few months, that, after that few months. And then it said a few more months went by and then we graduated, so... I'd say maybe like a year and a half at most has gone by. But still, I, I fret for these guys' intelligence. First time I come here and the place is empty. This shop is lacking drive. 
this slack needs to be executed. That slowpoke needs to be executed right now. Do I have any gummies in my diddly do? We do have. Oh, I should. Stop it up. Let's see. Why do I have a doom seed with me? A red gummy and a clear gummy. Hello, Spinda. Let's see. I will clear gummy for the boy. Here you go, Silas. Well, now my Chimchar has an Ember Cap, so guess I'm drawing Chimchar with a cap. <laughs> Don't you love it when you, you can do stuff like that? Same way that I draw a bow on my Zorua. Because just like the bow is there eternally. It's great. Ooh, now he's a non-sleeper too. I have given him insomnia. We can bang all night long now. And red gummy for me. Ooh, can cause burn with contact. The ember cap can do. That's a nice thing. At least for like longer fights and enemy hits you, they get burned. It's a few extra damage. It's better than actually having to use like a move for it because I feel like in this kind of game, what's the offer? In this kind of game, Sure, I'll take that. Zinc for the win. Give me that pro the, the, the vitamins. But yeah, like, in this game, it's just, it doesn't, it's not really worth it to be like, I inflict poison on you unless you're a wild Pokemon. If you're a wild Pokemon, then of course it's perfectly reasonable that you'd want to, like, inflict poison on the player character. But, like, these effects that are like, we do a little bit of damage over time doesn't really mean much for the player. Because why use one move that does, like, five damage next turn when you can do a ton of damage right now? That's my thought process. Attack, attack, attack. I'd be the worst Pokemon to high five. That'd be hilarious. You have to learn to control your, your new power to inflict pain. Can have the grimy apple, or not? Well, I guess technically it would be grimy. Well, goodbye. Oh, I, we already got our quota for eight. My bad. And once again, I went to in between streams. I went to listen to the various musics that we've gotten to up to this point to experience them. And once again, yep, made me tear up listening to them. The music is just so good. An Ornberry Consolation Prize, all in all, not that bad. Not that bad at all. I will take... <coughs> Excuse me. I will take that. I just realized, I don't think we've eaten a big apple or a huge apple in like a billion years. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I now have two mobile scarves. Now Ori and I can hide in the walls like a ghost. I have one mobile scarf that I keep with me if I need to get into, like, lava or water or something because the game's being a jerk. <laughs> one time, I had to chase a... an outlaw onto water, and I'm just like, how was I supposed to, like, defeat the runaway outlaw? I forgot. <laughs> I should've done blue. I'm just clicking through, clicking through. It would be hilarious if it was the win. Nope, it's another loss. <coughs> Man, remember to stay hydrated to wash away the coughs. <laughs> Whoops, I walked into a wall again. That'd be a funny thing. You just put on the, the mobile scarf and you're going around. <laughs> Whoops, fell into a wall and the enemy Pokemon are just watching like, what the fuck? What was that? How could this be? Oh, a lot of plane seeds we can get rid of now. <laughs> I have a warp scarf. It's funny. Isn't that the one that you can, like, force, like, an ally to go to you or you to go to an ally or something? Why do we... We have so many. Just everything. <laughs> we have so many everything. <laughs> I swear. I was not coughing, and now the coughing has come. One second. Just clear my system with a vigorous cough in the hopes that bad thing don't happen because 
the, the, you'd think that some things, like sneezing, call, I did it again. I did it again. I'm just talking. And I keep picking red. I keep betting on red, but we gotta win, apparently. Eh. I got heal blocked by a four-star outlaw group. Ow. <laughs> I've yet to do, like, many star groups. Or, like, star missions. <laughs> Rock smash! <laughs> Once again, every single time I see an HM in this game, just as a TM, I'm just thinking of the rescue team from the first Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game just seething. They're like, what do you mean, Pokemon on other continents? Just get... Just get all the things that we... W the things that we had to work for, that we bled for. She didn't go to these other places. What do you mean? They're just normal items on other continents. It's like, oh, you know, they're just normal items over there on that continent. I just think it would be amusing. And another loss. Sadness. And consolation prize of a cleanse orb. <laughs> cleanse orb. Cleanse orb. Cleanse orb. Oh, interesting. You can swap three grimy food for a cleanse orb. Huh. I don't even know what a cleanse orb does. Let's see, Billy. We'll murder God all the way. All the way. We'll murder God. Why there's so many fucking apples at the tail end? We don't need these many apples, my dude. We don't need so many apples and elixirs and things. Oh, hey, a black gummy. I'm going to have to run back and, like, take stock of my frickin' diddly dee 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 Just one, I guess. We just have to do so much, so much recycling. Because we have so many items. We could fuel the frickin' diddly day shop for a million years. Another loss. <laughs> suffering. Explorer's team comes through with TMHMs. <laughs> More suffering, basically. They're like, wow! Oh, so how did you get your dive HM? HM? This is just a TM. We got it from the recycle shop. <laughs> just the sound of breaking glass. What do you mean you just got it from a random Pokemon? How did you get it through recycling? <laughs> like, the leader of the rescue team. Pokemon just looks ready for murder. At first, maybe like, oh, hey, but what if we can make it so that we can just import them now? And like... The rescue team federation is like, no, we will not allow it. You can cue the human from rescue team about to go fugitive once more. <laughs> I'm gonna go fugitive <laughs> this time. <laughs> you are going, it's going to be for a legitimate reason. Ooh, another victory. We've only, I'm still surprised that we got the big, big send out the dancing lobsters win like our second or third time coming here to the recycle shop and I don't even remember what I got <laughs> yeah, it's not even enough laps in 560 spaces of storage you bastard <laughs> actually that would be fun just breaks glass of hand actually that would be funny if they invite the rescue team Pokemon to like Spinda's cafe and they see them get an HM. It's just like, why does this recycle shop give away HMs? I was like, eh, it's a TM. The rescue team is it going to take over the recycle shop purely for their TM HMs. Oh, another victory! Oh, it's a big win! Don't you dare! Don't, 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 don't you fucking dare do the fake out. Send out the dancing lobsters. Don't tell me. Dancing lobsters? That's right! Dancing lobsters! Yeah! Oh, yeah! 
and it's hilarious that this is happening in an empty cafe where there's just the two. Those two aren't even gonna notice the dancing lobsters. They're just gonna be like, wait, why is the wall broken? Oh, never mind, I forgot they fixed it. <laughs> I must congratulate you. Why not? Here is your big win prize. A wonder gummy? What? What is a wonder gummy? Raises IQ, yeah. A food item with a curious texture unlike any other gummy. It permanently raises the IQ of a team member. I feel like that's just normal. <laughs> Arya needs to stop uh, need, stop one-shotting everything with default A-slap. Yeah, that, that's inefficient grinding. Efficient grinding means you have to hit him with a move. I didn't even know that was a thing the last time that I played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers. And I don't I, I don't even know if it's like a thing in Rescue Team. I just I don't know. <coughs> hey, hey! Wait, what's an emit ring? Oh yeah, I forgot. That's a th that's the expensive thing that we needed to get. Let's see, what else do we have in our inventory? Inventory. We have two revival seeds. I want more Reviver Seeds. 55, 33, and a billion people die. Boop, boop. Oh, I have so many stamina. <laughs> what grinding? We're both level 100. <laughs> That's funny to think. I'll take more gummies. Oh, hey! Neat. I think there's special, special, special. We're gonna... I really need to <laughs> mess with my inventory. My inventory is... I need to do better. I'm not going to be able to take anything with me if I don't manage my inventory better. <laughs> I'm dying, Billy. I'm dying of maximum pain. I don't think we need that many max elixirs. Maybe one less. Unless we go into just danger world. <laughs> Wonder mail generator joy seed mission go burr. That is something that I'd be tempted to do, but I want to do this at least slightly. Like normally. Well, speaking of getting blue gummies, I'll go ahead and buy this blue gummy. Since you said to stock up on blue gummies. And stock up on blue gummies we shall. I'm sure it will become obvious when the time comes. Put away that blue gummy. And now let's see. Do we have any boxes that we left in here? We'll take all these boxes. Give me those boxes. And let me organize my main inventory again. Blast. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like me and Apollo's reaction would be like confused at the dancing if only the hero and partner had reactions. Uh, that, that is the one thing. I wish there were more just like cuts to their commentaries like what is going on? And I plan to get to level 100 by grinding. I'm already level 50. What level am I? I forget. I'm level 47. Just by playing the game. Hello, Zantu. Appraise all my shit. Let the appraisal begin. Quick, quick, quick! And so, it is revealed within the boxes were a Sneasel card, a White Gummy, a Beaver Tooth, a Magby Claw, a Coal Mine, a Zuma Do, Right You Hair, Sneasel card, No Stick Cap, Meryl card. Two Sneasel cards. We got more things. Just lock up in here. Do, 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 do. Keeps items from stickiness. Interesting. I 
And we're gonna go and get more. <coughs> I only got to level 99 through Joy Seed. The last one was long grinding. I can only imagine. We're gonna check the swap shop in just a moment. We're going to eat up some of the gummies that we had. Like black gummy for me. Raise my super intelligence. It'd also be extra funny if IQ was like actual intelligence and stuff. Then like the rescue team is like, <laughs> we're we're like <laughs> the rescue team is maximum IQ. Meanwhile, these idiots are just bumbling around. I think that would be amusing. What do you mean they just ran into a chestnut trap? Chestnut traps are obvious. Well, dear, you know, not everybody just gobbled up all the gummies across the universe. Okay, but I have to know, what is a wonder gummy? I'm gonna have to look that up. It seems special. It just, it, 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 I don't know, maybe it's poisoned. Maybe, maybe the recycle shop is here to kill me. Hello there, I'm unable to actively watch because I'm driving home, but I hope you're having a good day. Thank you very much. And I hope that you also are having a good day and I hope your drive goes well. But quickly gonna check, what is a wonder gummy? I wanna know. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, so it's just a super gummy that works on it. It gives a special boost to anything. But I, you know what? If I, mm -hmm. my brain says it would be cool if Wonder Gummy was like instant IQ level up, I'm gonna give it to me then. Nom nom. Added the Wonder Gummy. I wonder what the flavor will be. I think it's ran. The flavor is randomized, but still. Drink the pulpy wonder gummy. A light, rich flavor that just melts in your mouth. Oh, IQ went up tremendously and attack rose by three. So, yeah, that does make it special. Better stat ups as well. And now we're going to go to here. See if anything is different. See about doing missions. Or like gather up missions to do. An honorary member of the Pokemon Exploration Team Federation. What's that about, an honorary member? What's that? You had a secret rank mark added to your Explorer badge. Here, may I see it? So this mark is it? It, uh, is kind of interesting. I don't know either. I don't know a thing about secret rank. Or about an honorary member of the Pokemon Exploration Team Federation. Huh? You all got to meet the famous Explorer Scizor? Oof. By golly, I envy you. Secret drink! Not anything I've heard of, hey, hey! Hey, maybe someone pulled a trick on you, hey, hey! Nah, the guy would never do that. Unless Scizor just had brain damage. And he was, like, actually a silly little guy. Ooh, is there any other landslide caves that need to be done? Come on. Let's go to an unknown place! Explore with Sfeel! No. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I may be an explorer, but, but I'm not. <coughs> Got any question mark missions? Yeah, I know they like head places. I guess I can grab it since none are landslide and we can like build up to doing it. I think I passed on a few other diddly dees, but fine. <laughs> we'll grab you even though you're probably horribly, horribly, horribly out of our level range. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, you would just, uh, blah, blah, blah. hello. Secret rank. Hmm, what could such a sinister sounding rank possibly mean for you? Interesting that he doesn't know. What about you? The secret rank? Wow, seems like a fun rank. <laughs> of course, Wigglytuff would do that. Exactly, you can grab it and then just leave it. <laughs> you got this, hopefully. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm tempted. I'm Something is written here. Sure, let's read it, why not? Ooh! Oh my gosh, indeed! Mystery! Oh my gosh, diary! 
something very mysterious happened at our guild the other day. We were in the guild when, oh my gosh, the place was stunk up by an atrocious stench. Oh my gosh, I never experienced such a foul cloud of fumes. It was an eek-worthy moment, but everyone denied responsibility for it. But there's no fooling me. Oh my gosh, I knew what I smelled. There was no mistaking it. Eek, how mysteriously it crept upon us. Who's the culprit? Eek! Interesting. I like that. This is. I. I want to know. I want. I want to read all of it. This is interesting. And the morning briefing chatter told us something that's worth a good scream. Eek! There's an expedition coming up. Yippee! Oh my gosh! It's been simply ages since our last one. On our last expedition, we brought home simply massive amounts of treasure. We shared everything with everyone in Treasure Town. It was a happy, happy time. Ooh, the upcoming expedition should be fun. I wonder where we'll explore this time. My roommate Chimiko and I are all excited guessing about the destination. Of course, I'm going to do everything I can to be picked for the expedition. Oh, I'm feeling motivated. Yippee! This is doing massive damage on my throat. <laughs> Rare inspiration. Oh my gosh, something happened that was totally uplifting. Tonight, Team Lost Light had to go without dinner for some silly reason. While we were eating, oh my gosh, Bidoof was leaving a part of his dinner untouched. And this is Bidoof, right? The one we call the bottomless barrel because of his big appetite. Whatever could have caused that, maybe he's heartbroken. Well, I guessed that at first, but then I figured out what he was really doing. He was leaving some of his dinner for Neon's team. And oh my gosh, the others noticed too. So we all did what Bidoof was doing. We left bits and pieces of our dinner. The louder agonized over the decision to the end. Yippee, everyone pitched in to help. How sweet of them. Oh my gosh, I'm getting emotional. In the end, we decide to share the smaller things ourselves and leave them with the one whole apple each. Chimiko, Bidoof, and I will keep these two apples for the night. Tomorrow morning, we'll give them to Team Lost Light. They must be hungry now, but they have to endure just a little longer. We all have to stick together and try to make it into the expedition party. I like this. I like that they actually put all of this in. It's, it's, it's just a nice bit of diddly D. We just got back from our expedition now. Oh my gosh, I'm uh, exhausted. Oh, this expedition left a big impression on me in every way. Especially the sight of Fogbound Lake. Oh my gosh, it moved me in ways I can't express. Oh, but if I write any more details, ooh, Yuxi would get upset. And that wouldn't get good. Eek! It was the best of all expeditions I've attended. Oh, I hope I can go with everyone again sometime. I hope Sunflower doesn't mind. This is all cool. I like that they put this in. This is such a cool detail. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! The famous Dusnor came to our guild! Yippee! And, and, and he plans to stay in Treasure Town for a while! Yippee! I get to talk to him. He's wise and courteous and handsome and oh my gosh. Yippee! 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 That's what it feels like. Interesting that she finds <laughs> Dusk Noir handsome. The whole guild is now searching for that thieving Grovile. Bidoof the trio and I searched Crystal Cave, but our search turned up nothing. Where could that Grovile be? But he must be caught no matter what. For Yuxi's sake, too, we'll catch that criminal. P.S. that silly Bidoof. Oh my gosh, he was no help looking for Grovile. Not only that, he even brought home a crystal as a souvenir. Eek! That reminds me, when we were leaving Crystal Cave, I caught Bidoof grinning to himself. Now that I think about it, oh my gosh, that was him grinning about the crystal. Oh my gosh, I never suspected Bidoof could leer in such an icky way. Eek! It's another new discovery. Eek! I don't care if it's doing damage to my... <laughs> just my throat. I need to know. I need to read more. Oh my gosh, it's such a, It's been one shocking thing after another lately. It turns out that Grovile is a wanted outlaw on the run. Oh my gosh, from the future. And Dusk Noir also came from the future to catch that Grovile. Eek! There have been so many unbelievable events. It's like in, I'm in a perpetual state of shock. Oh my gosh. Anyway, Dusk Noir vowed to catch Grovile on his own. I'm sure the great Dusk Noir will honor his pledge so Grovile will be caught. We have to leave everything up to Dusk Noir. Good luck, Dusk Noir. I, I desperately hope that there is one about us disappearing. Is it is this one? Everyone, including myself, is down in the dumps at the guild. I thought about why the guild is lacking energy lately. The answer is easy. It's because Team Lost Light is missing. I didn't realize how lonely it'd be without Team Lost Light. 
Shadow has been very ill-tempered lately and prone to annoying outbursts. But there's also because he misses the, those kids. Oh, I hope they're safe, those kids. And yet you all send us into danger. We're adults, damn it. I wonder, like, if her not doing many diary entries between those two events is her being down, or if we just got back really fast. Oh my gosh, Yippee, what a shock! It's totally amazing, Team Lost Light came back from the future, oh my gosh! It was such an amazing thing, Yippee! We were even more amazed by Silas's account of it all, oh my gosh! But if those kids said it, then it must be true. I choose to believe the kids. Ooh, then that does that mean that the great dust nor who I revere is actually a bad Pokemon? Oh my gosh, a bad Pokemon. What should I do? What should I do? Quit patronizing us. <laughs> They're saving us. <laughs> Our future is in the hand of those two kids. But I'm convinced that those kids will not fail to stop the planet's paralysis. That Neon and Silas, oh, but don't forget Lapras and Grovile, too. You can't fail us. I hope you all come back safe and sound at Treasure Town soon. Well, there'll be a eulogy for me. Literal months went by. Nope, it just went straight to graduation exam. That's, that's a little bit of a mistake, in my opinion. I think it would be nice if there was ones like, shit, Neon died. <laughs> just, I think that would be funny. Team Lost Light has been chosen to take the graduation exam. The graduation, oh my gosh, I remember what I, they asked me if I wanted to take it. At the time, I refused because I wanted to train some more at the guild. Last year, Loudra took the exam, of course. He failed in a spectacular fashion. But those kids can make it, I'm sure of it. Eek! I'll be cheering for them. Yes, that's, it's that time of year again, the season of the Grandmaster of all things bad. Yippee! Hopefully Sunflower doesn't mind. <laughs> They did it! Those kids made it through the graduation exam! Oh my gosh, the members of Team Lost were so adorable when they joined the guild! Now they're authorities! Oh crap, we became cops. It's sad they're leaving the guild, but Sharpedo Bluff is very close by. I can visit them any time! So Neon and Silas, congratulations! Do you visit us at the guild even after you graduate? It's almost like she knew we would read her diary. Oh! Does Vidoof have a, something is written here? What's it? Ooh! We'll save that for another time. Interesting that even Bidoof has a diary. That's neat. I didn't realize that. Well, now time for Swap Shop. Please have a thing for me. Please. Swamp Seal, Valiant Rock. We'll probably grab that so that we can do more. Yep. Oh, wait, no. I want Valiant Rock, since we have five billion things. <laughs> we have five billion things that we can just give for you. Give. I don't think they stack, but it's nice to have them so that we can, like, upgrade for super nice things for Silas down the road. Well, let's see... A Cherum, Cast Form, Magby, Magmar, Tentacool, Arbok, and Cricketune. Nothing for me. Where's all, where's my shit, Krogunk? Where's my shit? <laughs> how, do, how does Bidoof write? Very, very carefully. Maybe with his mouth. Or maybe the po all the Pokemon in this world have, like, articulated hand movements. I'll store my money. All of it. I don't want to lose my 5,000 Pokebucks. Yeah, because I assume... I forgot the white gummy. Damn it. We'll put that away. But yeah, I don't think that holding your item bag item stack because I think that would be broken <laughs> well now we can save and uh, go on to do these jobs I guess at landslide cave so somebody stole an item somebody stole an item and rescue so we're gonna have to go back and grab some 
totter seeds. So that we can take down those bastards easier. Because if I can totter one of, uh, like, totter them before they get to running, they've got nowhere to run except hell. They'll be running to hell as they die. <laughs> now where's that totter seeds? I have five billion of them. Uh, I'll take three just in case. Because sometimes you just miss with your throws. Hey, hey! And of course we're going to have to save again. Hmm, the special missions will be given in Spenda Cafe. Like, you mean the secret missions? Oh, I guess... <laughs> well, let's go to Landslide Cave and then... If there's anything weird in Spindos Cafe or anywhere else. I think I'll still, like, talk to people, because I need... Basically, I need to just talk to people, because frickin' Mr. Mime sent me to find the dude. Oh, hey, a gummy. But I have no money. Damn it. <laughs> At least it's not an orange gummy. That'd be mean. Explore a bit, grabs as many items as we can. Actually, I think that the, I need to get used to, like, actually being able to do things again. I don't think these things are that scary. The outlaws, they can probably be scary. You bastard. How dare you. I come into your dungeon, and you poison me. You are an inhospitable guest. <laughs> Steal it. No! I don't think I will. I'm not suicidal. I'm not a madman. Just buckle because there's 50 floors for the legendaries. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to tell because, like, I wonder if there's a difference between secret mission, go here, fight legendary, and maybe more story-ish like Shaman Village or go find the find Scizor the caveman the caveman lawyer frozen in block of ice or if they'll all be through the secret missions only time will tell I do not understand systems thank god you missed um let's see uh die it's been a bit since I used that move I figured, figured it was poignant. Since if they're gonna be mean to me, I'll just annihilate them. Hello, Gabite. Or Gibble. I was, like, I was rolling the dice there. I was like, I know this is a pre-evolution of the, of the Garchomp. But I, do I got it right? And then, and then I didn't. <laughs> I kill Kecleons often. Try to level 100 and hide in the walls. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, sure, the, the living ghost people are telling us to go rob the store again. So I was just looks at me. What do you mean the, go the, the wall criminals are telling you to become a criminal yourself? They're telling me to join the walls. Aha, I took no damage. You fool. I'm a god. <laughs> so you can take the whole stock. Like, it, maybe if I was super powerful. Maybe. Maybe I'd start stealing from the Kecleons. But at the same time, the Kecleons of this game have been super nice. Uh, like, if I became super powerful in Rescue Team and ran into as n and nearly as many Kecleons as I have in Explorers, maybe I would have gone on to steal from them more. But these Kecleons, they haven't betrayed me. So I don't mind it too much. And yeah, I only have one mobile scarf, so I can't really do the hide in the wall challenge. How dare. I am a god among these mortals. Fear me. Six items. 
Like, I don't even think I'd be afraid of a monster house in this place. I probably overstacked on... on blah 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 on pure seats for this. Congratulations, idiot. I uncore, I, un I uncore nothing. Author, author. How about I author your death certificate? I become Miles Edgeworth. I turn you into a death certificate. Here is your autopsy report. I updated it just now. I dance on your grave, do a gritty. I just need a Pokemon with Fast Friend and a Golden Mask, and then I can recruit a Kecleon. It's still hilarious that Kecleon are, like, the nightmare monsters of the Mystery Dungeon games. To the point that they rival legendary catch rates, or recruitment rates. Hey, don't run away from us. Hey, Grimer. I killed a bunch of your friends on top of Shaman Mountain. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know why. My, my 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 lungs have decided to rebel against me. This is I don't know why. You bastard. Double bastard die. Fine then. Triple die. We're getting hungry in a sandstorm. Looks like we'll have to eat one another, Silas. You can fill in the mo <laughs> all of it from there. <laughs> With a cool 0 0.01 catch rate. Honestly, it's too much. Huh. So you're the unmarked bastard that we need to take down. Interesting. It's interesting that, like, that it wasn't noted. Huh? Scanner Orb was dropped. Yes. So I guess, I, I guess it was because of the kind of outlaw mission I took. They didn't, like, know who stole it, just that somebody did. And then through Pokemon Magic knew what floor he was on. And instead of Magnazone going, they decided to send to Zorua. Are they just racist against the dark type? Good job. Murder. Box! I love my boxes. They hold ultimate treasure. I do, I do wonder why the music, like, swaps every single floor. It's interesting, but odd. Does that just do a fixed 30 damage? Or is it just a high-powered move? I am now frozen, son of a bitch. At least this isn't generation... <laughs> Did you just use Ice Fang to freeze me, and then Fire Fang to free me? What's wrong with you? Are you a madman? <laughs> or Jim Char with an oversized flame cap. It would be interesting if like those ba 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 accessories were actually seen on the characters. Hmm. Cause I think like the 3D games actually have characters wearing scarves, at least, which I do like as a touch. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. 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 And then you die. <laughs> Our sniping leveled up the boy. His dick is now more powerful. Yes. Give that money. It's only 37 pokey. But that's why we have the bank. Because unlike in America, or I guess the human world in general, you can trust the banks in this world. Somehow. Die. 
And now your money is mine. <laughs> Give me your money! That poor wild Pokemon just wanted to start a bank account. And now it never will. Sorry, Grand Bull, but you are far too weak. Get out of here. Why ain't you a bastard? How dare? Who's a box? What's in the box? One of these days it'll have to be something that I like. It'll just give me like a Lucario tail. It's like, surprise, bitch. It's something valuable. Give me your money. All of your money belongs to me. Not the meow for the Persians. Me. How dare the sandstorm last this long when we're in a goddamn cave. How is the sandstorm even blowing in here? It's a cave! Wind doesn't even blow! Oh, hey, you wanna die? Oh, you're another secret enemy. And just die in one go. Oh, never mind. Oh, for some reason I thought, oh, we spawned in. It's been a bit since I saw an Ampro, so it just left my mind that they're a normal enemy. wander around until we murder somebody. Hello, Ralts. How dare you? Die. Once again, how dare you? Die. So there was... M ah, so it was a double, like, secret outlaw. Let's see. Oh, hey, I forgot. Zinc. Boost special defense. Mine. Yeah, sure, let's go back to town. I'm a fool. Yes, let's go back to town. We fly away. Through the power of magic. Thank you for rescuing me. To show my thanks, I want you to have my reviver seat. One of these days, they're going to be a jerk and give me a revisor. Because they're jerks. And that frees up my job listing, at least, a little bit. Ah, Combi. <laughs> Why does a Combi want a... one of... a bit of a... a blast seed? Maybe just because it was stolen. I don't care if I have no use for it. Oh, the next morning. Well, I forget. It always does that. For some reason, I'm just used to it being like... And now story happens, even though that's not how it's been for a while. Well, let's go manage our inventory. Open our boxes, see if there's anything special in the store. Well, Vigoroth moved. Yeah, the characters actually kind of moved. Kind of being the operative word. Oh, because I don't have enough money to buy it. I understand. You already do enough exploits and we're chilly, isn't that right? You'll have to tell me all about it later. I'm gonna have to go grab money from the bank because I can't open my boxes or buy the reviver seeds. Still on that apple? Yep, yeah, still on that apple. I just need to be on the lookout for any, like... So I think these guys are doing the same. Yep, I'm just I haven't gotten used to things yet. Uh, it's the same. Give me all my money! As we leave, Duskull sobs, because now he can't pay for his investments. Give me that reviver seed! What about you, Purple Kekleon? 
For some reason, I always thought it was like Kesleon or Kelseon or something. Because I am a fool. Alright, we're going to take this opportunity to put our affairs in order. And then go here for take. We'll take the gummies with us so we can slurp them at the bar. You, Zatu Appraisal, appraise our shit. And so it is revealed within these boxes were a Persian claw, an iggly card, a dripply gasp. How is a gasp an item? How do you even do that? That's not what I want. I want to put those stuff away. Hey, my Mama Kangas, can you want to store a gasp? You want a gasp of like a dying child that was being taken away by a kidnapping balloon? Oh wait, I think we do have like an egg in here. Let's check the egg, I guess. Is it? Could it be? Is it close to hatching? Could it? Will it? Hmm. Well, not quite yet. How dare you tease us this way. I don't even know if, like, the egg mechanic is good. Uh, Garfish! Hey, hey, another great day! You know something? Sunflora's been pretty excited lately, hey, hey! Seeing stuff like, oh my gosh, the surrounded sea, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, no one's seen it for tens of thousands of years! That sort of thing, hey, hey! She's been on a tear about it all by herself, hey, hey! Sunflora's down at the guild's lower level right now, hey, hey! If you're interested, you should go chat with Sunflora, hey, hey! She's itching to go gab about it. I'm going to assume that is the thing. Earlier, a strange Pokemon appeared and asked me to give this to Team Lost Light. Find the Aquamoni... Monica. Aquamonica that lies in the hidden deep beneath the diddly D. Okay. Sure. Act promptly, that is all. I'm going to make a... I'm going to make a save state. I... Just in case. Sure, we'll accept that mission. <laughs> Act promptly. I hope it doesn't just go burn. But I'm going to talk to Sunflower first. Because friend. Raise up our intelligence. Raise our intelligence through smoothie. Through the power of smoothie, we will become intelligent. Unt bin, take over the world. And nobody will ever be able to stop us because we will be gods. We've already beaten the god of time. What makes thou think you could stop us? <laughs> Seriously, you think that a... Uh that a, a business like this that's basically just will increase your intelligence for free, just bring the ingredients, would be illegal. Then again, gummies are just things that you find. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I, I desperately hope that, like, if the IQ system continues into the other games, they keep on keeping on. Let's see, is it just in here? Yep, it's just in here. Interesting. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> I got the Sky Staple Remover Snake. Well, let's go talk to Sunflora. Have you two heard about the Surrounded Sea? The Surrounded Sea is a sea far in the south. It's an uncharted part of the ocean, and can you imagine? It's been encased in ice over tens of thousands of years. The word is spreading about a recent discovery there. They say there's a, now a break in the ice. That gap opened a way for explorers to go into the enclosed sea. Oh my gosh, can you imagine it? A world that no one has seen for tens of thousands of years. This is the stuff of sweeping epics so dreamy and adventurous. Oh, but that's not all. No, no, no. Apparently the world's ocean currents all course through the surrounded sea. How do all the currents go through a place that's been cut off from the outside world for tens of thousands of years? I 
I've heard rumors that many rare treasures are carried there by the currents. Oh my gosh! Just think about thinking that is enough to make me want to faint. The surrounded sea's entrance is supposedly east of Blizzard Island. You should go for a look for yourselves. You can now go to the surrounded sea. I'm going to assume that this is like Scizor. Eh. Let's get to swapping. Another Rialu tail. <laughs> I see Neon Scarf, and I'm like, it's for me! But no, it's for a fucking Volbeat. <laughs> Damn it. Where is my bow for the Zoroa, the dark types of the world? Why are we being... I'll take another Rialu tail because I can. Ugh. Because I need to stock up on Rialu items so that I can then maybe get better Rialu items down the line. <laughs> I do not know what this water baby is, but I hope that it does not try to murder me. Now we're going to go just manage our inventory a bit, see what kind of items we want to bring. Let's see, some totters, some stuns, some revivers. I don't think we have any revivers in there. I don't, did we check you? What do you got? Uh, nope. Well, I guess we'll have to do with what we gotta do. We'll put away our money, and then we'll go and head away to the surrounded sea. Take all our money. How are we carrying around 47,000 coins? Hey, Neon, what have I missed? Uh, we got a secret mission from the Federation that said go to Aquamonica, but we're not gonna do that just yet because Sunflora told us about the surrounded sea. Prince of the Sea. Yeah, I'm just going to ask him, please uh, tone it down on the oblique references to what's going to happen, just in case. Because I don't understand what it is right now, but I don't want to get spoiled on the events that are going to come. Even if it is the post-game and it might not hit as hard, because, like, the Shaman was nice, but Scissor was kind of meh, but still. I want to give the game opportunity to punch me in the gut. Surrounded Sea. So now we're in the shallow waters. Jesus Christ, die. Oh, double hell. These things are scary. Carnival wants to join. I took you out in one hit. Go away. If the quillfish wanted to join, maybe. We'll go adventuring for items a little bit, but this might be one of those dungeons that I need to rush through out of fear. I should have probably all... Oh. So some pathways are for deep sea divers. No, that is what the water baby is according to the one movie. Yes, and I do not know what the water baby is going into it, so that is technically spoiler. Please stop. Having an early lunch today. It's a barbecue. Yay for barbecue! Jesus Christ, trap, why? Honestly, though, at least out of all the traps, it is just an explosion trap. Not the worst thing. Unless I'm going to be immediately attacked by an enemy, then oh no. So this is going to be an interesting... ba ba ba. Because some places can only be gotten to through traversing of water. Which is interesting. If I were a water type, I could have given... How dare you? If I was... Double how dare you. At least you're going to the stairs. This dungeon is already making me uncomfortable because Chimchar and water. I can only imagine. You see your worst nightmares come to life. Yeah, those spikes and orb just not worth putting on the mobile scarf for. Hello, Slow King. I bet you wish you had pants. 
die. Why did you activate your sleepless? You fucker, why are you also a touch get poisoned? What is what is evil with you, bitch? I need to remember I have I have racks. I have racks. I have rocks. I love how they lock stuff away. It is interesting because it adds just like a bit of like, oh, this is a advanced dungeon where not every team, like the early dungeons are like, oh yeah, anybody can come here and adventure and get all the treasure. But then you get in and it's like, ooh, specialized teams might be needed to go through and get all the treasure of all the places. I'm going to rock you to death, you vile seahorse. And then another vile seahorse was waiting for me. The agony. Oh, that's not good. Um, I also have agility. <laughs> Idiot. Be gone, Satan. Through the power of rocks, we save the day. How do you breathe under water? Yeah, and another one says it's shadow. Yep, another chatter. Because this place is filled with water, but it's not deep water. It's not advanced water. Although I do find it kind of funny if we put on the mobile scarf. It's just like, look at us. We're pokey Jesus. Let's keep on marching. Six items on the floor. I wonder how many we can actually get to. And taking one look at that maze, I say no. I leave. Seven items, of which... We can get two, so now it's five items. Five guys, burgers, and orbs. And you did one damage. No, we're not going to recruit you. Be gone. You did one damage to us. And then went down in one hit. You are not going to come along and waste our Reviva Seeds. I'm sorry, no. No. Nah. -uh. This appraisal of Zatu, uh, Natu gave me a Lucario-specific item, and I have a Rialu. And you can't evolve just yet! <laughs> Ain't that wonderful? I don't even think you can recruit. <laughs> I don't even think you can recruit, like, ba 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 Rialus. Like, maybe in a late-game dungeon you can find Rialus as enemies, but they probably have a very, very low like, recruitment rate anyway. Be gone, Clamper. We charge on through, taking your money. We must kill the artillery. How dare. Leave the boy alone. No bondage while we're at work. I guess it might not hurt to put on the mobile scarf. And then I can put on my silver bow again. Waha. We'll have to see what other items are on that island. It's Item Island! Thank God that artillery came to me. I would have been annoyed to have to put on my my mobile scarf just to get a box. They want to buy a box. Huh. I'm still in the uh, the main game too. I just got to the Dust Noir chapter. There's so many chapters. Oh, that's interesting. The freaking chairs can spawn. Oh, the chairs, the stairs can spawn in this room. Interesting. I guess because it is just a normal room for water types, but still, it seems weird. How'd you do that? Collect the items surrounded by water. I have the mobile scarf, which allows you to move anywhere. I got lucky and found it just on the floor somewhere. And <laughs> now I, ho I hold on to it just in case. You bastard. And I'm gonna start throwing rocks at this seahorse. Die. Die, damn it. At least it didn't take away 
The power points from my most major attack. Thirteen, I fear. A, a doom seed. Not even really all that worth it, really. Like, unless you have just an inventory full of doom seeds, is it even worth throwing at bosses and stuff? Like, maybe if you want to just bully a random Pokemon, waha, we're gonna doom seed you to level one. I feel like that would be a war crime in the Pokemon world. Force feeding doom seeds to enemy soldiers. We keep finding this. The, 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 my brain keeps wanting to say chairs because I accidentally said it one time, and now my brain is going like, hey, remember when you accidentally said chairs instead of cha stairs, and now it's just haunting me. Well, oh, thank God. Agility was sealed. That, that move that I cannot use. <laughs> And yeah, I feel I think that there's like a monster house or like a Kecleon shop up ahead, so I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away. It just said like five billion items, and I found like one. Twelve items. <coughs> uh-huh. Um First things first, Max Elixir. Well, that's extra rude. And now, agility up the wazoo. We are not gonna fight this. We are going to pure seed the fuck away. I should have brought more. See ya! Oh. Okay, good. Never mind, he's gonna die again. Oh, you bullet seed having bitch. So my agility was for naught. Jesus Christ. Let's get out of here. I should have brought more of them. And that's why I don't want to explore, because now I have no Reviver Seeds! I still think that it's bullshit that you can spawn in a monster house. I just think it's bad design. Because there's no, like, play around it except bring the win button with you. So it's either, like, bring in the, like, item that lets you just teleport away and leave. Although I do find it weird that I went all the way. And, uh, well, that's weird. But it's, it's just kind of weird that I went all the way and with my agility, only for the game to go, well, actually, uh, you're stepping onto the stairs, that gives the enemies a move. I just think it's a very, very rude game. Very, very rude. And instead of stocking me up on... Uh... More Reviver Seeds, it gave me a Max Elixir. Something that I do not need. I do not require Max Elixir. Imagine if it sent me into the ocean and I just drowned. This is why I dash through these dungeons. Whenever I feel like... I... Can you not? You need to die. What the fuck is with these octillaries? I'm not gonna give an enemy a chance to come in here and be like, surprise, move wide, like, room wide move, blast. Um? Um. I am confuzzled here. Why? 
wonder egg. I am confuzzled. What is a wonder egg? A strangely colored egg. An egg with bizarre colors that have never been seen before. What is this, Lovecraft? What could this egg be? <laughs> I thought there was, that, that was going to be like a gimmick thing. Like, oh, you found these three treasure boxes. And if depending on like the order you take them, or if you take them all, or if you take none, you get something else. But no, then, 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 then there was an egg. A wonder egg. What? We're not going to address the egg, Silas? We put in a full day of t today. I'm exhausted. We should get some sleep now. We can be rested up for another good day tomorrow. We went to a place that hasn't been visited for tens of thousands of years. We found an egg. And we put the egg there. Okay. Good morning, Neon. You know, that egg we found at the Surrounded Sea yesterday. It's going with this mystical light, isn't it? What do you think it... What do you think is in it? Oh, pfft. This egg is hatching so much faster. The Chansey is a fraud. <laughs> we just put an egg on a diddly dee. Then again, this egg was probably there for tens of thousands of years in the, that sealed off wonder world. <laughs> I just find it hilarious. We just grab an egg, put it in nest, and it's already hatching. <laughs> what? Wow, it moved. He neon. The egg did move just now, didn't it? Oh, Neon, the egg is... it's hatching! We're gonna become parents! Oh, it's your Manaphy! I thought you had, like, an unevolved form. Bah, but we'll ignore that. Hello. Hi! Wow, it's a Pokémon, but I've never seen anything like this before. We just went into a dungeon, we found an egg, and we just took it, and we told nobody about it. What the hell? <laughs> Kya kya, uh, kya kya, kya kya. <laughs> He's cute. Hey, little guy. What kind of Pokemon are you? If only it was the anime, he'd be saying his name. Pokey. Hey, this little guy's too young to understand anything I say. I say. Um, what should we do? He's already pretty advanced. He's saying words. I've never had to deal with a Pokemon like this little guy before. Then we shouldn't have taken the egg. Then again, we're free of the guilt, so I guess we didn't really have much authority. Like, like, how? what is the protocol for going into a place unvisited for tens of thousands of years? And you find an egg, and then the egg hatches. Hmm. Oh, I know. We should ask Chadot. He's the guild head of intelligence. Let's go see Chadot, Neon. And we'll bring the baby along. <laughs> and so we came to see you. Do you have any idea what kind of Pokemon this little guy is, Chadot? Hmm, really I'm most surprised that it wasn't a Zoroa. Hmm, well to be honest, this is the first time I've actually seen a Pokemon of this sort. But judging from what you've told me, this youngster appears to be a Pokemon named Manaphy. Manaphy? Correct! This youngster is an extremely rare Pokemon. There are only a few in the whole world. Congratulations, you have a rare child. It's said to hatch at the bottom of a cold sea. It then travels the seas over thousands of miles. I should emphasize that a Manaphy is a very rarely sighted. As a result, little is actually known about the Pokemon. Wow. So this little guy's a really rare Pokemon. Rare, rare. So you two, what do you intend to do with this youngster? What? What should we do? Well, come to think of it, what to do? We haven't given it much thought. We, we're we just explorers and treasure hunters. We went into a rare place, found an egg, put it on a nest, and then it hatched. <laughs> now it's the... Oh, no. Baby, no. Whoa, what? What's wrong? The baby started crying all of a sudden. I would imagine he's hungry. Right. What should we feed him? Hmm... I'm not sure, but because this youngster is a water-type Pokemon, how about feeding him some blue gummies? Okay, some blue gummies. Let's see, blue gummies. We found some at Craggy Coast, I think. Oh, that's cool. The game actually kind of tells you. Hey, hey, uh, nudge, nudge. Uh, they naturally spawn here. Let's go get some blue gummies, Neon. I actually have one already. 
Oh, the poor baby. Wait, <laughs> wait. Yes. I'll be back. I have a blue gummy in storage. My dear child, Uncle Chatot will, will hold you over for a while. Uh, that little kid was kind of cute. Hey, hey, what happened to that little baby? And like, now everybody is now aunts and uncles to the child. You're saying that you found that baby's egg at the surrounded sea? Oh my gosh, how mysterious! But I actually do have some craggy coast, like, job. So, we can go do them for Petty Cook and help in my Pokemon search. We'll take these jobs, see if there is any other craggy coast jobs. And there is! Deliver a Max Elixir! We're gonna go grab that blue gummy that we have, and then we're gonna come back and then do stuff. <laughs> he needs some milk! Obviously, <laughs> oddly, no, he just needs a diddly deep. Beep, I can't decide what to do, our team leader Swellow. Do you suppose he thinks of me as food? I wanna believe him as my leader, but yeesh. I still find it hilarious. That egg that we got a million years ago, for chance he hasn't hatched yet, but man, if he instantly... We dropped by before we headed out to Midnight Forest. We needed to swing by Kecleon Market to buy a key. You two know of a place called Midnight Forest. Hey, have you heard? They say there's a fabulous treasure at Midnight Forest. There's one obstacle, though. You can't get at the treasure unless you have a key. You know, I heard you explain to get to see this time, huh? That's stupendous! There's nowhere that you won't go. I feel like we're gonna head to hell one of these days, to like the distortion world. Disappointing that there's not a blue gummy for sale, sadness. I'd like to store some stuff. Hey, hey! Fifty-five billion years. I'm gonna have to bring more. Excuse me. Bring more pure seeds out of paranoia. Oh dear God, I have no reviver seeds. I need to be very fucking careful. And I'll, I'll bring more, 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 more. I hate monster houses. I only ever seem to die in them when I either get overconfident or I just spawn in them. Do -do 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 -do. Blue gummy, blue gummy. I know we have at least one. Blue gummy for the child. And let's see. Um, three pure seats out of paranoia. We'll quickly go open up the boxes. Oh, wait. Oh, I have the money for it. Appraisal. That's a lot of boxes. Then again, we did have three deluxe boxes at the end. Qua -ha! And so it is revealed within the boxes were a reviver seat. Hey, oh, a reviver seat. Mmm, mmm. I'm actually happy with that. A jiggly song, a charcla, a bibber card. Thank God. <laughs> I was hoping for reviver seeds. Game gave me reviver seeds. I think that means danger. Actually, come to think of it. We're gonna take this blue gummy up to the boy. <laughs> Finally, he's for the key I brought, exactly. Hey, oh no, he guessed a hidden treasure dungeon. So if we ever go to Midnight Forest, key time. Anything on the egg? Nope. Chansey is still on Fraud Watch. I gave you an egg a million years ago, and you've done nothing with it. But blue gummy time for the baby. As he hangs out here at the guild with Uncle Chadot. Or... Hmm. Actually, thought. Since I have so many Craggy Coast things and the game told me to go, I'm going to, in the spirit of the game, actually go to Craggy Coast. It is a low-level dungeon, if I recall. So let's go to Craggy Coast. Let's go and do it in the na like the spirit of the game. We'll get more. We'll get more. So yeah. It'll clear out our job thing. 
and it'll uh, clear out our job list. And just, yeah, just in the spirit of the game, let's do it. And plus we can fill up our poor, poor storage with a five billion items that we find in here. I forgot how good the music is in here. Another blue gummy! I feel like the game is pre-programmed to be like, oh, the, the player is here for blue gummies. So let's give him blue gummies, and I don't mind that at all. I like it, actually. And plus, it might give us opportunity to pick up more, like, reviver seeds, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the chances of a reviver seed is just popping up. Hello, Sfield Eye. We're here on a milk run for the child. Be gone, Wingle. That's so upbeat and happy music for this place. Ba, 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 ba. But I, I, this is actually, but this is exactly kind of what I wanted. More like story-based post-game. It's kind of interesting to be like, oh, you go through a dungeon, but then it activates like a story thing. You get a manaphy egg. Interesting that it kind of confirms that like legendaries come in eggs. You're a bastard and you're gonna die alone. Die. Hey, would you like me to join? Die. We are going to sear you up and have crabby legs now. Crabby legs that go all the way up. We're here on a milk run for the baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. Again, I, I think it would have been more interesting if, like, that egg was just there in your house for a while. And it took, like, a few missions for it to hatch. But... Just build a little bit of tension. Maybe, like, have a few, like, conversations with, like, the the two main characters there. Like, I say like a lot because I'm a fool. But, like, have the partner go, like, ruminate. It's like, I wonder what kind of Pokemon this egg is for. It's like, it was in that dungeon for who knows how long. Did somebody lose it? Just, like... Ruminate on the egg for a while. Another gummy! Huzzah! Blue gummy for the boy. For the baby. And then, of course, go the obvious direction of... of but if, no, if we can't ever find it, like, this poor egg's parents, like... Would that make us its parents? It's just like, go down that interesting route. Oh, you're gonna... you wanna die? Your swift will do nothing. For a moment there, I forgot that I was on mission duty. But we must get food for the child. <laughs> we must we must be productive parents that provide. <laughs> you bastard. He has killed that Wingle. Fine, Dratini. You want to die? Die. Now I'm just imagining, like, Silas raising Manaphy, bringing Manaphy into their first dungeon, and Manaphy just brutally annihilates an enemy. And it's just like, yeah, they definitely take after you, Silas. <laughs> First day in dungeon, time for murder. For a moment there, I forgot that we already uh, found the stairs. Items on the floor equals four. Four score and seven floors ago. Die. 
We're here for murder. We have to provide for the child who is hungry. In a dark and edgy Pokemon fanfic, Shutout said, Hmm, the best food for a man of the eye, I would say, would be uh, Krabby Legs. <laughs> Go kill some Krabby. Not the Krabby that blow bubbles at the beach. Well, sacrifices must be made. Oh no, your belly's empty. Apple. Again, I find it kind of sad that I can't feed Silas an apple and have it fill the team's belly. Get out of here. Be gone and do not die, you fool. That's not. We have more jobs to do. Krabbies to kill. Blue gummies to find. For the child, whom we must provide for. Oh, box time. It's a box, it's a box, it's a wonderful box. You must die for your warmongering ways. A lot of Pokemon in this dungeon are giving 111 experience. I don't know why, I just find that odd. Die, Krabby. Your kind don't belong in this dungeon. Go back to the beach and do your job. Uh, two items on this floor. Will one be a gummy? Well, the one is an apple. <laughs> Replaces the apple that we just ate. I have more apples than I know what to do with game. Please, step. The apples they invade. The big invasion of the apple people. By eating them, you give them power. Let's see. Dark Pulse. Damn it. What's with the missing today? Be gone. What the fuck? If we missed four moves in a row between the two of us, I would have been very angry. I would have demanded blood restitution. How do you make a bomb out of mud? Chemistry? Alchemy? Now I'm wondering what Edward Elric would be as a Pokemon. What about Alphonse? Alphonse could be Silverly. I think that would work. Or however the hell you say the name. <laughs> this place just had two apples. That's it. Like, I don't even know the Pokemon story of Silverly. I just know that Silverly is an interesting Pokemon. <laughs> My Pokemon knowledge, it is fragmentary at best. Three items on this floor, and it's a destination floor. You have reached the destination floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. That Dratini must die. It has stolen money from Lost Light. Another Hoppip. All right. I have, uh, I should have a Max Elixir. Now be gone. Get out of here. <laughs> we have to continue on. There's more criminals we have to kill. Another blue gummy for the boy! Looks like it's Krabby Legs today. Get out of here, Gastrodon. Why is it just a horde of monsters that deserve death today? Get up here and murder this guy. Spits at you. Silverly is an Arceus clone, the same way Mewtwo is a Mew clone. Now that's badass. Oh, I thought we had more than that. I guess we only had two. You brought Flussel in for a rest. This is Mount E for the outlaw. 
Thank you for your cooperation. Make sure to electrocute that bastard. Oh, you wanna join me, do ya? Fine, sure. You can stay as a hop if I guess. I would have preferred, like, a gummy. It's been a full day. I'm exhausted. We should get some sleep now. We'll rest it up for another full day. I'm giving the baby some food. Good morning. Manaphy is waiting for us at the guild. The poor little guy's hungry. Let's go to the guild and give a blue gummy to Manaphy. It is level one, and he will stay that way. Would have been interesting if, like, some of the Pokemon commented on the strange Pokemon that we brought through. It's like, I never seen that Pokemon before. And the bed is gone. Yep, which is kind of sad. I guess Chadot's looking over the little guy for us for a bit. We've got some blue gummies for you, guy. <laughs> He must have been crying the entire time. Gave a blue gummy to Manaphy. What? What? Go on, eat it. It's a blue gummy. Gummy? Nibble, nibble. <gasps> gummy, gummy! Oh, whoa. He ate the gummy. Gummy, gummy! <laughs> he likes you, Neon. He's so cute. Hey, Neon. This little guy's still a baby. How about we look after him for a while? Sure. Okay, awesome. We'll do it. Do it. I'm not sure this is a good idea. What? This child is a Pokemon that normally would grow in the sea. This environment is obviously unlike the sea. Add to that, we know next to nothing about Manaphy. Who knows what could happen? What do you want us to do? Send the child off into the sea without any help? He was, he's a child, he's a baby. But it wouldn't be safe to just return the little guy to the sea. Exactly. Silas and I are on the same page. Let's look after the little guy until he gets a bit bigger. Please? Mm. Look after him properly. We promise. Fine, if you insist. So you have nothing to worry about. You can count on us. Right, Neon? Yeah. And that's obviously safe. Ah, oh, and there's a bed for the baby. Okay, Manaphy. For the time being, this is your house. House? That's right, house. We're going to look after you, little guy. House, house! Uh, um, what are we supposed to do now? Gummy, gummy! Oh, okay. You want a blue gummy? It's quite the appetite, our little Manaphy. Okay. Let's find another blue gummy for Manaphy, Neon. I almost want to go, like, on more adventures and, like, give him a blue gummy after each one, but at least one more blue gummy before that. Gummy, gummy! He's a blue gummy for you, Manaphy. <laughs> you can't say no, literally. Of course, how, how dare you say no to this poor guy. Gummy! Choo-choo. Is it tasty or gummy tasty? Tasty? That's right, tasty? Tasty, gummy tasty! And we're going to be feeding him gummies. And they're going to increase his intelligence. I would have put him on the little waterfall. That would actually be adorable. <laughs> the little guy's going to grow up in no time at this rate. What? Is something wrong? Uh. Ah, just sleepy baby. <laughs> the little guy's ate his fill. Now he needs to sleep it off. Let's be quiet and let him sleep. Sleep tight, Manaphy. Adorable. The next morning. Good morning, Neon. Hi. Good morning, Manaphy. Morning, Neon Silas. Wow, the little guy called us by name. That's awesome, Manaphy. Awesome. Well, Neon, what should we do with him today? Eating and sleeping all the time doesn't seem healthy enough. I know. Let's take the little guy for a walk at the beach. Ah, uh, this is great! How adorable, the little guy's coming with us for a little bit. Hello there. 
Once again, wish that everyone would recognize our child. We're keeping this blue gummy with us. Oh, we have more blue gummies. Lots of blue gummies. We'll feed the we'll feed him his fill every single day. Oh wait, I forget. We probably have a lot of recycling to do. Yeah, but that was literally the maximum. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. Like I, I could imagine, like, ba ba ba. I could imagine like a Zuril and Meryl having an interaction with the little guy. Yo, you taking the cute tyke for, uh, for a stroll? Yep, that's a cute little baby. So the baby is called Manaphy. Yes, recognize the child. That Pokemon you have with one is with you is one rarely even seen. That's one cute baby. Exactly. He is a child. We are raising him good with lots of food. And so it is revealed within the boxes were a clefang. Oh boy, more reviver seed. Yes. Reviver seed is for me. And I just realized I forgot to check the the store, the, the, the swap shop. Then again, the freaking swap shop never has anything good for me anyway. Oh, yeah, you forgot you ran out of space. We need to do some recycling. We'll teach Manaphy about recycling. Oh, I forgot. We have to talk to everybody just in case. Maybe even Chansey. What, what a little cutie. Manaphy is his name. Such a cute little fellow. Oh, what a cutie. Why is that a little cutie with you? He's a child. Oh, hey now. What's with your cute little buddy today? All right, Manaphy. We're going to... Oh, fine. I... I feel something. Uh, don't, don't you dare hurt me, game. I've had a, I've had Manaphy for five minutes, but if anything were to happen to him, I would kill everyone in Treasure Town and then me. Come on, Manaphy, over here. Maybe you can meet L Lapras. Kya 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 kya. Manaphy, this is the sea. Sea. See? That's right. See. That's where you came from. See, see. Silas. Neon. See, see. <laughs> Neon, man, if he's really happy. It's great we brought him down to the beach. See, see. And so, Manaphy, Neon, and Silas played until sunset. That night. Oh, that's an adorable sleep animation for the boy. Oh no, is he longing for his home? Don't hurt me, game. Oh no, he ran away! Good morning, Neon. Good morning, Mana... Manaphy? Oh, no, Neon. Manaphy? Manaphy is missing. What? What should we do? Where could he have gone? Let's go look for Manaphy. He probably went down to the beach. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can talk to everybody. Hey, Mama King's gone. Nope, nothing to say. What about you? Are you bringing that cute baby around today? Huh? What? Th the baby wandered off somewhere! What was his name again? Was it Manaphy, that little Pokemon? Where could he have gotten to? That rare Pokemon you were with yesterday. Nope, haven't seen him. Did he get out, go out that early? Nope, I haven't seen that baby Pokemon around either. I was going to teach Manaphy the benefits of recycling! Oh no, that cute Manaphy's gone missing? That's worrisome! That little cutie disappeared! The one we saw yesterday! Huh? Did I see that little cute buddy of yours today? No, nope, can't say I have. Ah, Team Lost Light! I was just on my way to see how Manaphy is doing. I trust Manaphy is doing well. Th there's trouble! It's Manaphy! Manaphy disappeared! What? 
Didn't I tell you two to take proper care of that baby, didn't I? Look, I'll look too. Manaphy is still a toddler. That baby couldn't have gotten far. I'll look through the guild. You two search outside. Has to have gone to the beach. That's the only other place that he knows. Uh, uh, hey, Manaphy! Manaphy! Manaphy, you had us worried! Why did you come here by yourself? Hey, Manaphy? Manaphy? What's the matter? Manaphy! Trouble, Neon. He's running a high fever. Manaphy! Hang on, Manaphy! What is the poor? We have, what is even going on? This poor guy has three sleeping animations. Oh no! What should we do? <gasps> you found Manaphy. Chatot, Manaphy is Manaphy is Ma Manaphy. My goodness, he's running a frightful fever. We know. We found him standing on the beach, and he toppled over. His illness must be caused by being in the wrong environment. Just as I'd thought, Manaphy is a Pokemon that needs to grow in the sea. Our environment is entirely unlike being in the sea. That's why this infant is ill. Uh, so it's our fault Manaphy is. Hmm, well, as things stand, remorse and regret won't help now. We need to focus solely on curing Manaphy's illness. How do we go about curing him? Here's something I've heard. According to the Pokemon living in the sea, it seems that there's a cure-all item known as Fion Du. That may be what it takes to cure Manaphy's illness. Fion Du. So that's what we need. Hey, Chadod, can you tell us where we can find Fion Du? There are Pokemon called Fion that drift along the sea. They are said to produce Fion Du. I believe the Fion live in an area to the west called the Miracle Sea. Okay, the Miracle Sea. We have to find the Fion... Fe <laughs> We have to find the Fion no matter what, Neon. It's the only way we can save Manaphy. You can now go to the Miracle Sea. Hang on just a little while. I will look after Manaphy. You two should get going to the Miracle Sea and find the Fion. Uh, you just hurt me. You give me the child for five minutes and then you do uh, You hurt me so much. Will everybody have unique dialogue again? I will I, I will find that admirable. Yo, did you finish finding the cute baby? Huh? What? The, the baby's fallen sick now. I hear that Fiondu is pretty rare. Fiondu? Oh, uh, yeah. That, uh, they say it's a cure-all. If there's anything we can do, I hope we could, but that little baby sure was cute. I forget, would it be like a rare item? I highly doubt it. Like, I couldn't just have Fion do across my various little items. But it, it almost feels like these, you know, like Iggly do, uh, Togepi do. It'd be funny if it just happened to come in. Oh, I have a Fion card. How dare you hurt me like that? <laughs> I have a Fion card, but not a Fion do. I am in pain. I'm honestly sad. We'll buy one. We'll buy one blue gummy. Maybe we can give it to him as a treat when he wakes up. <laughs> Why not a heal seed? Probably because it's not a status condition. Well, you found Manaphy, how splendid! Oh, oh no, the baby's taken sick now. Pardon? That cutie's fallen ill. That's really worrisome. I hope that cutie gets better soon. What? Your little buddy's sick? Welcome to Duskull Bank. Actually, I'm going to take this, and I'll, 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 because it's been five billion years, I'm going to take a look at Krogunk Shop. Then we'll quickly do some recycling. I wanted to teach Manaphy the beauty of recycling. Give him a diddly D. That baby Manaphy must only grow in the sea, hey, hey. Huh? The little Manaphy is taken ill? I'm worried for that baby Manaphy. Give it a reviver seed, then you don't need to worry. Sadly, I don't think that's how it works. I think reviver seeds are more for like, are more like uh, shock paddles. They're like shots of adrenaline that get you back into the action. 
friendly friends. Are you keeping up with your exploring? Kind of odd that he doesn't have anything to say. What you got in your diddly D? River charm for a bibberable. A blah 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 blah. But nope, doesn't look like there's anything here. Robust Pinaco. Nope, nothing good for me. Sadness. Honestly, I'm surprised I've gotten as many Rialu secret, uh, secret, Rialu centric items as I have. Well, we're gonna quickly do some recycling. I'm so happy that we got to see the shaman village. All right, what is it? Cycling efforts? Is it a new item or new place? Unexplored area. I'm never gonna go there, probably. Oh, hey, Orin Forest! That's the place that this mod changed where all of the starters can be found. Like, all the uh, added starters can be found, I believe. Sure, we'll grab a protein. We have to be- we have to get swole to save Manaphy. I'm gonna grab another reviver seed so that we can total that miracle sea and get that beyond do. Gotta do lots of recycling so that we can get all the items we need to save the day for the boy. Doing recycling so that we can make room for items. That's all we care about. Just quickly doing some recycling. And it's a false swipe. What even use are you? False swipe is good for catching Pokemon by dealing damage but without fainting them. have to save the child. <laughs> How dare the world do this to me? Again, I've had him just for five minutes. And the world dare does this. <laughs> what have I missed? My tribe has finally come to an end. We went to a, a place of like a river, a watery place that hasn't been seen for like five billion years. We went in, we found an egg. We took the egg. The egg hatched into Manaphy. He was an he was an adoring little boy. He was our child, and now he's sick. We fed him a bunch of gummies, and he was very happy. And now he's sick, and now I'm sad. We are going to beat up a Fion until we get the healing powers, so that we can save our child. And I will kill God to save this child. Arceus may have saved the future through the epilogue, but damn you, child. Also, Chadot is being a good uncle. That is the second water pulse we've gotten from you. Are you having, like, a smuggling ring of water pulses? <coughs> yeah, I swear. I swear to God. You hurt this child? game I will I will find you I will find your immortal ethereal soul across the universe and I will end you Who's at the table near you? Ah uh, just random explorers He's just a he's not even with us. He's just a, a Mr. Mime. I wonder what happened. There are hardly any customers. I wonder where everyone went. Uh, this is actually kind of odd. All right, we're gonna quickly go manage our inventory, and then we're gonna go off and beat up a bunch of Fion until we get the do, so that we can save the baby. Take that other M. This is how you introduce a baby that people care about. I'm gonna hold on to this blue gummy as like, one blue gummy as a Good luck charm of the baby. The baby will be with us forever. One blue gummy with us for all time. In honor of the child. 
I, I swear if this game dares to kill Manaphy, I, like, this is the post-game. We do not know what is possible in the post-game. They could do it. Oh, his sprite was weird to me. Mr. Mime is a weird little guy, isn't he? Talk to the other executor. I guess I could. He'll probably have a secret mission for us. But like, I... I have something I want to ask you. I'd like you to help Dodrio. I can't... No, just a normal guy. That's Ant Plains. It's a... Normal, I guess. We'll take it, sure. It's a rescue job. Sure, why not? The reason I don't talk to those guys a lot is because they usually are just that. Just normal, random missions. I don't really care to do it. We didn't even get a show, Manaphy Uncle Lapras. God damn it. We're going to save Manaphy with the Fiondu, and then we're going to teach him the wonders of recycling. At Spinda Cafe, we're going to give him a blue gummy smoothie. Off to the Miracle Sea we go. We are going to kill motherfucking God. <laughs> they did kill you. Yeah, but then they came... Well, no, technically I killed myself by resetting time. Which is odd to think about. Interesting, fantastical music playing while we are here on an urgent mission to save our child. Captivate, are you mocking me, game? We can always come back here another day. We are, we are bussing on through. A, so that if we don't run into any monster houses. And... You are being very mean. Luckily, I can relatively eat grimy food, but eh. Sadness. <laughs> and Arceus saved you here? Actually, no, I think... It was uh, Dialga that saved us from going poof through time stuff. But then I think it was, you get off him, you whore. He is my boyfriend. Fuck off and die. But I think it was Arceus that saved the future trio and the future world. Because when we played the last special episode last stream, Into the Dark Future or whatever. God damn it. Uh... Dialga specifically mentioned that he was not the one to perform the miracle that saved the uh, the future world. That a greater power did. Don't you dare, game. Okay, good. For a moment there, I thought the game was going to throw me into a monster house. Because there are four items here. Jesus. <laughs> I don't need them hit. Ugh. I don't need to look at you to kill you. I can just kill you. I'd like to join your team. We are here to save our child. We don't need a home wrecker too. Sleep seed, quick seed, I dropped her. Oh no, the resurrection carried over, which is weird because what the fuck? I just I was wondering what the fuck was happening there, but that's kind of interesting. But it because. I wonder if that was retroactive. Like, what I mean is, I wonder because, obviously, the special episodes were made for Explorers of Sky, and Explorers of Sky was made like a year or so after, or at least released a year or so after the initial Explorers of Time and Darkness. So, the way that it's portrayed in, like, the initial game. It, the way it's portrayed initially makes it seem like uh blah 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 faster game with the fucking bullshit <coughs> but like initially in the main story they make it seem like Dialga himself was able to pluck the hero from being wiped out through time for Silas <laughs> Maybe presumably after fixing up Temporal Tower and regaining a bunch of his strength. But then with the updated release of Sky, 
it's entirely possible that they did do that, where they instead kind of carry over the Arceus decided to reward the people that did all that heroic stuff. I could see it going either way. Because I could see, like, Dialga being po uh, like powerful enough to save a single Paradox Pokemon from the fate of being erased due to messing with time. But saving an entire future world right after being blasted in the face with the knowledge of his failures... I feel like that would be too much for the future Dialga, especially because he was also being erased from time due to time changing. So, personally, I think that Dialga is responsible for saving the hero, but Arceus is responsible for saving the future world. Especially if you think about it with how technically the future world is kind of, like, actually an entirely different world from the main world that you play in. Also, the music that's playing is kind of adorable and makes me sad at some times. But back to thoughts. But since, yeah, like, since the future world is basically an entirely its own separate world because of all the shenanigans... I could definitely see it being, like, way too beyond Dialga to do that, especially since he was also being erased, and Arceus decided to step in and save an innocent world that fought so hard to live. Wow, you're being an asshole. Game. Oh yeah, eat the protein, I completely forgot, thank you. I'm a fool. We have to be strong for the baby boy. Yeah, the way we're here to save our child. What the fuck? <laughs> I've never seen bounce before, so that was interesting. I'm gonna use a max elixir. I have five billion of them. Give me my shit back. Will you please stop with the traps? <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. Die. How dare you flail, you stupid heartfish? No, we are not going to let you join. We are here to save our child! And you're not strong enough to make me want you to join. Like, maybe... The flying fish bastards? How do they even bounce? Why do they bounce? Hey, it's a Remoraid. Seems like a pathetic bitch. Die. Remember to stay hydrated while you go to save your child from death? Yeah. How dare they do this to me? They're just like, here, have a child. Well, tease the fact that the child will have to leave someday. Try to kill the child. But I do have to say, I am, I am very happy that of what they are doing. They are making it so that this arc is like staying. They send you back to an old dungeon to get gummies. They they make you go through the big dungeon to find him in the first place. They like make it stay a bit. And they give you they're giving you time to interact with the child. Oh, I don't like this. Die. Page like things things of 
You're already hitting me in my feels game, and then nothing's even technically happened. The baby's gotten sick, and I'm scared. And also the fact that the child is... You motherfucker. We're going to agility away. Dang it. Nope. Wish my ally was smart. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the enemy is stupid. I was going to be like, ah, oh, we're going to agility away so that when he splashes out, it won't attack anything. But nope, Silas decided he was going to stay there like a badass. He's like, I'm not running. We're going to have to beat up a Fion, aren't we? Alright, I think it's kind of bullshit that rough skin has carried over into this universe. Why do you have bubbles? B -b -b Bullet Sade! What? Why? Uh, Octillery, I can understand. That bitch? Why does fish... <laughs> and we went the completely wrong way, so now we're gonna have to do... Pain and fear upon the lever of doom! Oh, you're a bastard, aren't you? Will you fuck off? I know that, that is like your signature move, and you like to show off, but Jesus. Die. At least you gave us a treasure chest, you bastard. We getting out of here because that rebound guy is coming in. I'm not going to be your rebound. Go find your wife. Why is there a stick down here in the Miracle Sea? Fion, you motherfucker! Where's my five dollars? To buy the cold medicine for my baby! Don't you fucking... <laughs> Don't you dare, you Remoraid fuck! Now whenever I see a Remoraid... <laughs> I'm gonna get terrified? Oh, you bastard. Please stop, eh? Why can you do things? I should have been doing agility. I am a fool. Oh, that does things. Die. I'm gonna put on the, the mobile scarf to get these. We have to be strong for the baby, for Manaphy. Dang it, that's not what I mean to do. I, you look wonderful, darling, in the bow, but your bow is mine. I'm sorry, I'm very worried for the baby, and I'm full of it. Let's go! The world is being kind. Let's go. Oh, halfway, because pain. We should speed it up! Exactly, yes, I know. Uh, what god are we gonna have to kill down here is Kyogre? Did Kyogre move from, like, that one place? It's like, oh, that rescue team beat me up. I'm gonna move over here. Explorers come in and beat him up. Why can I not retire in peace? <laughs> All right, your, your Aqua Jet is bullshit. Leave the boy alone. Die. My boyfriend isn't is also not available for your rebounds. You you stupid. Look, I know that he lives in a place that looks like your head, but that does not give you the right. Yeah. Motherfucker. That better not be my poor darling blue gummy that they ruined. Here's a memento for the baby. You motherfucker. You are going to die a horrible, painful death. I am going to gut you. Arceus himself will not be able to bring you back from what I'm going to do to you. 
motherfucker. Okay, we're gonna come up here. We're gonna wait a bit and heal. Die. I take... Odd. But sure. <laughs> the whole congregation is... What the fuck? I did... Why did he bounce back? He you. He used just a diddly d nom nom bite. Why did he bounce back? What is with the bombs? Oh, they reached all the way there to destroy the money? What the fuck? This place is a night. <laughs> Do not freeze him, my boy! We need to find a Fion and fucking get that miracle cure. <laughs> Just because he lives in your in your head does not mean that you get to rebound upon him. Again, go find your wife. He is my boy, not yours. Let's see. Yep, I'll trade the sticks for that. Yeah, we'll grab the money. I'm just kind of happy that a bomb didn't show up to destroy the money we got there. Hello, Sharpedo, once again. We're here to kill you. Can, just ever on with the rebounding. Die. False swipe, we already have one. I mean, I guess I could take it to sell, but I don't need money. Eh, fine. Come over here, heal a bit in the corner. Die. Fuck. Why does that do so much damage? I guess I could have tried to tactics Silas to be like, Hey Silas, go the other fucking way. Get away. But the game... The, 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 eh. Annoying. Die. What is with all the Gorbises? Alright, fine. We're going to do the tactics thing now. Silas? I don't even think that'll work. Silas is going to get hit, I feel like. Wait! Ha-ha! Maybe. Maybe. Mobile? Maybe I could use a mobile scarf to get out of here. Nope. That counted as a diddly dee. Kind of annoying that equipping technically counts. Darn you. I thought I was being smart and handy. I don't think dive should be able to be done in a tunnel, then. That feels a little bit bullshit. Since I can't control my ally to go the other direction that instant. It's kind of annoying when, like, I am in a tunnel. And any way out is doom. Do we have to fight the Fion? And there's just a billion of them. Are they just playing a rhyming game or something? What the fuck? Why is there floating Gyarados here? Eek! I found you at last. You're the Fion, right? You make the cure all Fion do. Well, rejoice. From now on, you will answer to me. All Fion do belongs to me from now on. I am going to kill you. Oh, now who might you be? Oh, you look like you have a bone to pick with me. <laughs> You're about a million years too early to pick a fight with me. You'll regret not running away while you could. No mercy for meddlers. Just random Gyarados. And I am going to kill you. All right, because, motherfucker, die. But yeah, agility is just for, like, movement. You're not even doing that much damage. Get tottered, damn it. I wonder why it does that from time to time. Please work. Aw, oh, he has non-sleeper. Damn it. 
How dare you? How dare the enemy be able to have non-sleeper too? I want it to be tactical. Gah! Don't! Don't you ever forget this! We beat you, though. Oh, very good. Very good, very good. This is our thank you. This is exactly what we came here, thank you. Ah, you obtained the Fiondu. Quick, give it to Manaphy. Okay. Here, take this, Manaphy. It's a Fiondu. Uh... Thanks, Neon, Silas. <sighs> Am I glad? It seems to be working. You should be fine, given two or three days of rest. That's great. Am I ever glad? Several days later. Back to his happy self, but... That just means what's going to happen next. <laughs> the little guy's as good as ever. Good ever! Am I glad to see this? Neon, Silas. Yes, we know. Manaphy needs to develop the ability to survive in the sea. Well, Neon, let's take Manaphy to the sea. I'm already tearing up. The Guildmaster and I decided to invite Whalerin from the Northern Sea. We thought that Whalerin would be ideal for looking after Manaphy. Aye, I've heard all I need to hear from your Wigglytuff. Give my word, I'll take full responsibility for raising Manaphy. Please take good care of the little guy. It's plain in the hands of fate. It's plain in the hands of fate. Oh! Manaphy, from now on I want you to be good and listen to Whalerin. And grow strong and healthy in the sea. Uh, as you get older, don't forget us. Silas? Neon? Prolonging this will only make it worse. Where in, please? Aye. We're going, Manaphy. Neon? Silas? Neon! Silas! Uh, the poor guy doesn't even know! <laughs> Take care, Manaphy. Oh! No, the game's hurting me again! Oh! I'm... Honestly, they should have kept the empty bed there as just a permanent gut-punch reminder of what we've lost. Good morning, Neon. Manaphy. The little guy's gone. It's sad. Yes, but... Though the parting hurts, we did the only right thing for Manaphy. I think Whalerin will raise him properly. And maybe, maybe one day somewhere, we'll be able to see Manaphy again. Ow! Oh, Neon. We shouldn't go around feeling sorry and sad forever. I doubt Manaphy would want that. But I can't get back to feeling like it's normal right away. Still, I think we should be positive and keep moving forward. Okay? Ow. And it's not even playing the happy dappy music of Sharpedo Blob. Ah! Pain! Fast forward to Whalerim being an irresponsible adult, I will kill him. Wigglytuff and Chatod specifically, like, picked him so we can at least trust him slightly, but... Ah! Agony. 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 And yeah, the guy was literally tearing up again. Ow. The game. It hurts me. Nothing but pain and misery. 
Ow. Uh. And we're gonna keep that blue gummy with us always. As a reminder of the boy. Personally, if I was making this game, I would like stretch it out a bit longer. Yo, come on, cheer up! When I see you two down, that uh, brings me down too. Come on now, do it for me! Give me a smile and cheer up! We're leaving soon. We're back on the hunt for new treasures. Like there are encounters, so there too must be farewells. We're not likely to come here again. Take care. Oh, you're just gonna... Not likely to come here again? Are you just gonna go off and die? Huh. All right, they're just gonna disappear. <laughs> Manaphy rebelling and murdering Wailhurin. Let's go. Would be amusing if he's a bad parent. But after the voice I gave him, I think I can, we can trust him. I think we can trust Wailhurin. Just a little bit. This game just keeps up the surprised emotional stabs. Yeah. <laughs> the, like, we only had Manaphy for a few little bit. And it was just uh, emotional pain. <laughs> Agony. We're gonna go see Crow Gunk talk to all the people at the sh uh, uh, at the guild, and then we'll see about doing like a mission. And I don't know, like, I don't know. Talk to people, see if there's anything weird going on again. Another Mr. Mime. I see. That little man, if you had to go back to the sea. The way you feel about little man, if you neon. I feel your pain. Well, Neon and Silas, I've decided. I'm gonna work up my courage and ask my leader how he thinks of me. I don't know if my leader only reviews me as food, but it makes no difference in how much I trust him as a leader. Thank you, Neon and Silas. You're not gonna come back either, are you? Our environment was too different from the one man if he needs. Cheer up. Oh, so your little buddy had to go back to the sea. Agony! Uh, we'll do a one recycle. The one recycling that we didn't get to do for the boy. I don't care about Link Box. I just wanna... Luckily that we're only doing one because we couldn't even get the link box even if we wanted it. Ow. Agony. Agony. Only. Only agony. Let me just make sure we'll take these two plane seeds. For big ol' big ol' big ol'. Ah. Nothing but pain. Sure, put it on red. The ultimate champion. Ah, it's a victory. Thank you for not sending in the dancing lobsters. You don't even really give good, big, big wins anyway. And I, we, we are not in the mood for victory dances. There's no victory today. There is only pain. We'll put Steel Wing away, check out the guild, cry at the beach. And then I guess look and see what, like, everything has to offer. And we'll go do a mission. Ah. Again, we, we had freaking Manaphy just for a little bit. <coughs> just for a little bit. Ah. Uh. And they still had to stab us. Cheer up, you all. He may come back one day, hey, hey. Let's try to be cheerful. We are in pain. We're not going to Zero Isle. What mission jobs do we have? We have the bottomless sea, the let's go to an unknown place, but that means guiding Sphiel. And I don't, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. 
Cool. Let's look at the normal board. Let's see. Hmm, landslide cave, and then I think there was like another landslide cave over here. Thief Shed Ninja ran away. Hmm. Should have picked blue because man, if he was blue, you're you're entirely right. I am a fool. I would pull the John Wick to get him back. Yeah, but it's, it's just mostly that, it, like, we can't keep Manaphy. It's for his own health. Bottomless Sea, but Bottomless Sea is the pain. I'll do a lens. Again, like, Bottomless Sea, we'll see. I'll look at my job list after a bit, because Landslide Cave. Grab just because it's two. And do, do I have a Grass Gummy? I don't think I have a Grass Gummy, so that's going to do it. Hmm. Explore the bottom of the sea. Like, maybe we could do that. Find the Aquamonica that lies deep. I suppose so. How many Reviva Seeds do we have? A decent amount of Reviva Seeds. Surrounded Sea wasn't terrible. Not really. I will go manage our inventory a bit. Maybe grab some petrify orbs for monster houses. <coughs> Just taking an open. I wanna I wanna do my inventory! My inventory is important, damn you. We gotta prepare. Let's see. A few let's take two petrify orbs for the occasional monster houses. Let's see about storing. Since we're gonna go on a dangerous adventure, let's put the the the, or, the the blue gummy away for just a bit. We'll need to grab some apples. Throw away the quick seeds. Stun seed isn't really good because it's just like it goes away the moment we hit. We'll need to bring more totter seeds. Yeah. All right. And we'll take uh, some totter seeds as well. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Some apples. Oh, we do have a grass gummy, so we could do that one. But we're dedicating ourselves to the deep sea of doom. And two totter seeds for possible bosses. Well, we beat Dialga. Things shouldn't be terrible. You'll get the location and burn it up. Oh! So that's what that is. Interesting. All right. Take job. Special mission. Explore the mysterious bottomless sea deep beneath the waves. There sleeps one of the world's seven precious treasures, an Aquamonica. The best of luck to you. You can now go to the bottomless sea. And the mission is top secret. This message is self-deleting. Ah, interesting. So it just unlocks a place that we can go. I want to quickly see. Will it appear as a, like, go here story mission? No, I'll just have to remember it. The bottomless sea. We'll have to go there eventually. Let's see. You there, Wingle. Ah, what'll I do? Oh, Team Lost Light, I've got something I want to ask you. The trio took something of mine, and I'd really like it back if you could track them down and get it for me. Blizzard Island, I... Blizzard Island isn't that terrible. It's only the 10th floor. We'll take it, I guess. That'll, like, level us up as a rank job. Hmm. I did not know that, but we'll definitely have to go talk to those people every single time. Ah. Uh, so I guess we won't go there immediately. Hmm. Since we just got this, we'll go to Blizzard Island because we can. But before that, we're gonna cry at the ocean. Hey, Lapras. Nice of you to show up now. Uh, didn't even... Why couldn't we give our... Why couldn't we give Manaphy the Lapras? I guess because he's here a lot and he hangs out here so we, we, he can take us to Temporal Hidden Lands if we want him to. But, ah, ah, ah. Agony. Well, let's go do this and maybe die.
to Blizzard Island so we can kick a Dodrio's ass. It's only the 10th floor and we can just bail after that. <coughs> Rain? Huh. Yeah, we'll just barrel through this. Well, okay, the game wants us to barrel through this. Sure, game. And we'll see how how well the, like this many stars a excuse me this many stars a job is for us. Maybe we're actually super powerful. Well, hey, Peplum, we're gonna kill you. Sure, Peppy. Your name is Pippin now. This is probably a bad idea, because you're probably going to just die immense, uh, immediately, because you're level 5. But I want the boy. Are you going to go after legendaries? Maybe. I'm doing this. Then we'll talk around town, make sure everything's done there. I forgot to check out Krogunk's shop. Not like he would have had anything for me anyway. Good timing, he leveled up! Good for you, Pippin. You get all those stats. But yeah. We'll do this. Check around town, talk to everybody. Like, blah blah blah. Check the, the swap shop again. And from there... Next time we stream, we'll do Bottomless Ocean and look for more post-game. Like, the post-game that I like. Because when it comes to just, like, oh, go after the legendaries, it doesn't really super interest me. Because that's basically what the post-game of, like... Oh, you're a bastard of a game. But that's basically how the post-game of Rescue Team was for the most part. But I liked the post-game where it was like... Uh... Ba -ba -ba. Also, I just got it. Why it's called a wand... Like a wander or gummy instead of a wonder gummy. I understand now. I, I got multiples of the evil gummy before I got the good gummy, and that's kind of hilarious to me. Well, that's very mean of you, game. <laughs> I'm just going to not waste my Petrify Orb on this. Well, that's just very mean. But yeah, back to my thought. The next time that there is an opening to just go place do thing without story post-game, we'll do Bottomless Ocean. It's just that I vastly prefer story post-game, like Gengar's Dungeons in Rescue Team, or the Shaman Village going to find Caesar, and blah blah blah, and man all the Manaphy stuff. That is what I really like out of post-game in the in this game just going to fight legendaries isn't super interesting to me i'll give the bottomless sea a shot maybe well mm. actually come to think of it because the bottomless sea probably isn't even actually a legendary or then again there might be a legendary guarding like the aquamonica but yeah just ultimately i just go by vibes we might do, like, ooh, the seven legendary treasures or whatever it is from the Secret Society. But I'm not, I'm probably not going to go on a recruitment spree to get all of the legendaries. Maybe go face them, maybe? Because the these post-game dungeons haven't been as frustrating as the post-game dungeons of Rescue Team were in the end. There's a reason why I grinded gummies to hell. And back.
I just grinded. Oh, fuck off, game. Oh, that works out very well. Yeah, that's very annoying game. And now you... No, 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 that's not yours. You're now a double thief. Die. Let's return to Treasure Town for Wingle. Yes. And we can bring Pippin along with us back to home. Go back to this peak of Sky Mountain. That's a... That's a big ask, that's a big dungeon, but it's something that we can try. So my thanks, I want to have my power band. Ah, we went up to Diamond Rank! The number of items yet we can protect in storage is 480 now! And we got a protein! Yes. We put in a full day today, I'm exhausted. We should get some sleep now. We can be rested for another good day tomorrow. Especially because we love we ranked up. Now we're diamonds. Let's make it another great day. Bum ba bum ba bum. Now we have don't have to worry about recycling as much. Because our inventory is great. I do find it funny that Duck Trio has like stopped coming to Sharpedo Bluff. You know, let's face another day for our heads held high. We can only try. Now we don't have to worry about our storage for a little bit longer. I'm still gonna keep, like, the... some things. Yep, and it's a bad. How dare you. Murder. Murder, 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 murder. Well, we're actually pretty powerful, all things considered. So maybe I should take, like, higher-ranking missions. What's in the singular box? An Azuma card. I don't know what an Azuma is. Here, have an Azuma. Let's see. We'll just... Organize this. Doop. Talk to people in town. Check out the boards. Check out Krogonk's shop. Good morning, Neon and Silas. The weather's nice as usual. Is it really? <laughs> You're doing well. Yay. Huzzah. Oh, maybe we should do a diamond like recycle to end things up, maybe. Let's have another fun day of exploring, hey hey! Good morning to you all! Yep, yep, here's to another good day of exploring. And nip sorry, don't wanna talk to you. I wanna talk to Sunflora. See anything interesting. Crystal Crossing, Crystal There, Brian Cave. Another landslide cave. Hmm. Annoying Starmy at Amp Plains. We have an Amp Plains job. So I guess we can take this Amp Plains job as well. Because why not? Bunch of Zero Isles. Hmm. Reward is unknown for this. Steam Cave. Eh. Oh, Guide Glammy out. No. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not an idiot. How you doing, chat? Ah, oh, you two. I expect you to work hard and earn money for the guild. Of course you do. Friendly friends. Yep, we're doing more exploring. Yo, Krogunk. Meh, <laughs> heh, Let's see, Swap Seal, vault Rock. What's a vault Rock for an Electivire? Nah. What's a River Charm for a Bibrable? Revenge Rough for an Apom. Quartz Torque for a Stalix. Nothing for me. Bleh. Bleh, 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 bleh. We'll quickly check the beach for any things. Check Spindus Cafe. 
And then, uh, then I guess we might do the, the Amp Plains run, maybe. What was at the top of the sea? I'm trying to think. Because there were two times we went to the sea. Because there was the big old sea where we found Manaphy's egg. Then the other sea where we found, uh, Fiondu. And there's just random people hanging out. So happy we got to see Shaman Village. Aiden, you arrived just at the right time. Earlier, a strange Pokemon appeared and asked me to give you this. Find the Icy Flute at Mount Avalanche. This is a special mission. Act promptly. That is all. Yes. We'll go ahead and read it since it burns up. Explore Mount Avalanche. World Seven Precious Treasures, an Icy Flute. The best of luck to you. Impressive that they are, like, self-deleting. Alright, what's your new offer? Now eh, we'll take that zinc, and then we need to go get that protein from our storage. Let's see. Oh, there's not a new offer. There's not a diamond gold ticket, damn you. Sadness. But still, we'll do one... One, one, one. One, 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 one. One, one. And now, we will redeem blue for Manaphy always. Ah, it's a win. Manaphy pulls through for us. Remember to stay hydrated. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm just wondering what to do next, because there is the... Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. The secret missions, but I'm not exactly sure, like how hard they are. And I am a coward. Take our light screen, then I'll take the protein, please, Mama Kangaskhan. Just have to find it in here. Where would the protein be? Ah, right there. Protein, please. <laughs> we have to get swole. Because now, <laughs> excuse me, bubba da ba. I have to decide where to go next. Because again, we could do I uh, like amp planes. We could try and do the bubba ba. Decisions, decisions, is the question. Just wondering. Hmm. Yeah, because we could do amp planes. Since it's just... Amp planes should be easy. We'll do amp planes quickly. Just because we can. <laughs> Follow your heart! And that we shall. Now first we gotta save, and uh, since we're going to Amp Plains, we're gonna take Pippin off. Sorry Pippin, you are not going to come with us to Amp Plains, because you would get murdered. And we don't want you to just waste our Reviver Seeds. Please, Pippin. We can go to Amp Plains and relive the days where Dusk Noir was a good guy.
Now we can, like, not have to worry about, like, monster houses and stuff. And now the game's gonna throw, like, a monster house in here somehow. Just to mock me. I forget, when were monster houses first thrown at us? I think they were nearing the end, so I don't think it would be... Amp plonses. But I think we'd be able to take on Amp Plains Mons in a boss boss room. How dare you? You already did that once, you asshole. And I've recovered from paralysis to kill you and take your gorgeous box. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Sorry, sheep, you must die for the glory of the motherland. Huh. Really, I should have seen this coming. I'm not all that scared of you. Thank God you only do that. Die. 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 Oh, that's a glorious feeling. You are a bastard. It is, is it not enough to throw a monster house at me? You also have to make me trip and drop my ribbon? How dare you. And another reviver seed. We can forgive this sin for now. Die. Let me join. No. Because we need so uh, to reach floors seven and ten. Die. You're in the way of us getting to that gummy. Only two items, and one of them was an orange berry. The mystery has been solved. Boom, boom. Ah, uh, defense curl all you want, you're still gonna die. And a stun seed. Let's go on, Los Ox. But one of these days, I probably should go and do one of those secret missions from the Federation. Oh, hey, Shinx. Die. Now, if you wanted to join, we would have let you join, since you're one of the original starters. <laughs> A slip seed. What, does it make him wide awake? Die. Die. Some bopping music in here. Die, Elekid. You were not elegant, and therefore you die. Alright. Do stanash and flore. Die. And a via seed. We are here to save you. Get out of here! Once again reminded of the Pokédex entry for uh, Dotrio, where it says something along the lines of, Three heads aren't the only set of three things this Pokémon has. Which everyone just immediately took to mean, This Pokémon has three dicks. It probably meant things like hearts or stomachs, but that's all it says. Three heads isn't the only set of three things this Pokemon has, or something like that. Worded exactly like that, so the ambiguity just haunts you now. Then again, who knows? Maybe that is what they intended. But they're like, wahaha, we're Pokemon. People will assume that we are being 
Mm, innocent. You are going to die. And that is how you died. Let us leave. Yes. Okay, this actually fits. <laughs> a guy with three heads? Uh, befriended a guy with three heads. That amuses me. And a vacuum cut, sure. You brought Starmie in for a rest. We murdered. And a vile seed. Are you making a commentary on our team, officer? You put in a full day. I'm exhausted. We should get some sleep now. We can be rested up for another day tomorrow. The next morning, everybody died. Once again, we'll... I think that'll be it. We'll just mostly wander around town, see if anything changed. Check the shops like Krogunk, Kecleon, the beach. Just things. And then I will decide what to do next time. On Saturday, 5 p.m. Central Standard. Yeah, just fails another day. Nothing changed there. I forgot to eat the goddamn protein and shit. I am a fool. I be a big fool. Yeah, sure. What do you have? More like a purple? What do you have? Roll call or P and TMs. I don't use TMs. For I am not a fool. Two orange. <gasps> wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. 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 All of that. That's super gummy time for us. We are going to get sloshed, Silas. And what is in this singular box? A shinx claw. Ah, fitting that we found that in the Amp Plains, considering that is where Shinx tribe used to be. Man, yep, just places empty, places empty. A little bit of drinking time. All right, what do you got to say? You arrived just in the right time. Earlier, a strange Pokemon asked me to give you this. Mystery Jungle. Sure, we'll take it. <laughs> of course, we'll accept this mission. Ba -ba. Ba -da -da -da. And we can just gather these up. Seven treasures, a grass cornet. Best luck of you. Now we can go all the way there. We're here to drink and drink heartily. Black gummy for me. So I can become very smart and touch lava. Through intelligence, I can touch lava. Oh, I've got a good feeling about this one. Huh? What? IQ increase too. I'm a very smart Zoroa. Ah, yes. Big brain time. You get three orange gummy drinks, Silas. You are the one who's going to get sloshed today. I have two Apple Woods jobs. 11 floor arrest Garchomp. 12 floor escort to Garchomp. It is the twin brothers. Garchomp and Garchomp. One went down a, a route of thievery. Shake it this way, shake it that way, and stir it all around, and it's done. Oh, I've got a good feeling about this. The luck in these. You are getting all of the orange gummy success, aren't you? We didn't even get, get got to give Manaphy a blue gummy soda. Ah, now he's a concentrator. I'll have to look and see what that does. And I will take this singular white... Oh, I have some... We have some other gummies. 
that I can have. <laughs> so I was getting crunk again today. It's his favorite, orange gummy. I'll have to check and see what the concentrator skill does. Again, the fact that Spinda does this just for free, you, you bring him the ingredients he makes it for you is just amazing. He's a sweet little guy. You can make a frickin' thing out of the proteins and zinc? What does that do? Yeah, I was just asking that. What happens if you smoothie a protein? Alright, we're gonna go save, and on top of that, I'll make a save state, and I'm gonna try that. Because if that's just the way of eating them while in town, with maybe a bonus, that would be cool. Because that actually sounds super interesting. Alright, I want to... Me. Let's see what it does. Because I'm interested. It would be mean if it did nothing. Moderately sweet. Attack strengthened. Yeah, it's just how you drink them while you're in town, which I like. It's interesting. I wonder if that also gives you the chance for it to randomly strengthen as well. We'll quickly check the beach. And just the dude Lapras who's like, if you ever want to go to some portal, then we can go again. We'll go see Krogunk, see if anybody in... Hmm, because I don't think anybody here will have changed dialogues, because usually... Okay, everyone's fucking gone. Oh, no, it's Team Charm! Team Charm? Team Charm! Huh? What's going on? I wonder what everyone's doing here. Oh my gosh, it's unbelievable! They're the real deal, by golly! It's Wigglytuff's old harem! Team Charm! <laughs> Wow! Can I get your autographs, please? Hey, Chadot, who are these Pokemon? Huh? There, there you go, sticking your foot in your mouth again. That lovely trio is Team Charm, the ultra-famous treasure hunters. They've earned the Master Rank, which was reserved solely for teams of extraordinary merit. As expert treasure hunters, they've discovered countless treasures. Moreover, they don't just find treasures, oh no. Strong, smart, beautiful. The sheer style of their treasure hunts is what makes them celebrities. In the middle is Lopunny. She is the gorgeous one with the long ears. Next to her is the serenely elegant Gardevoir. Ah, oh, she is so beautiful. Finally, there's Medicham. She moves and flows as if she's dancing all the time. Irresistibly cool. But I must wonder, why would the beauties of Team Charm visit here? Because they're friends with Wigglytuff. <laughs> friends with benefits, probably. They bribe him with perfect apples. Hiya! Oh, Wigglytuff, darling. It's been a long time, sweetie. Oh, Wigglytuff, you haven't changed one bit. Seeing you as Guildmaster, imagine that. That's amazing. It has been a long time, Wigglytuff. Yep, long time no see. How have you all been? Long time? You mean... Guildmaster, are you already acquainted with Team Charm? Oh, Wigglytuff was a real go-getter back in the day. Like Crowl. They fucked. <laughs> they fucked. <laughs> I thought it would be the nightmare, but only Team Charm. <laughs> the painful riddle. Oh no, there's gonna be a riddle? 
<laughs> well, how are you nowadays? Back then, Wigglytuff was something else. No one could beat him. So cool. <laughs> uh, Guildmaster, uh, how do you know the beauties of Team Charm? Well, they're my friends. Friends from long ago. That's right. We were partners in exploration with Wigglytuff. What? The Guildmaster and Team Charm? Fucking... So, what brings you all here? So astute of you. We came about an important matter. Do you recall when we were exploring a long time ago that we found a mysterious key? At that time, we didn't know what that key was for. Well, we finally found out where it should be used. You see... I need to refine my Metacham voice. You see, we discovered a place called Aegis Cave. The key is a perfect fit for the keyhole to its entrance. There's more. It's said that the cave holds a vast trove of treasure. A vast trove? Treasure? Say, Wigglytuff, darling, that key we found, you've still got it, haven't you? Key? Um, what kind of key? I don't remember. <laughs> Hey! We went through a lot to get that key. Are you saying you've lost it? That's typical for Wigglytuff. Some things haven't changed at all, it seems. Lot Punny, it's time for our gift. I hear you, Gardevoir. Here you go, Wigglytuff. We brought you a little gift. It's your favorite, a perfect apple. How do they just have so many perfect apples? Wow, a perfect apple! This is for me? Yay, thank you! Starts dancing. So, about that key. Oh, I remember now. That key, the one shaped like an unknown. I'll go look. Yum! <laughs> they just smashed up his room to grab it. Here you go. Yes, darling, this is the key. This will open the way into Aegis Cave. Thank you, Wigglytuff. Say, why don't you join us? It will be like old times. Yay, a perfect apple! Thank you! <laughs> you really haven't changed. We'll be going now, sweetie. See you, Wigglytuff! Uh, excuse me? Yes? Um, may we go exploring with you? Me too! <laughs> He's like, come on, Loudred, we asked first! And me! Oh my gosh, I want to go too! And you, Neon? You'd like to go <laughs> explore this new dungeon too, right, Neon? Yeah, that's right. That's the right answer. Please let us join you. Please let us go exploring with you. <laughs> Everyone says, please, except for Wigglytuff. T, <laughs> everyone's so earnest. You're all so adorable. Of course you may. And then she did a pose. Yay! Yes, thank you! Okay, sweeties, well, go ahead and open the entrance. You can go in after we do. The cave is located southeast of here. This is great, Neon. Let's get ready in a hurry so we can join in in the exploration. You can now go to Aegis Cave. Well, we know what we're going to do next time. Well, first, let's, uh... Ah, this is so cool. Actually, I think we'll end here. And we'll begin next time by talking to Krogunk, talking to everybody, and then heading off to Aegis Cave. But yeah, we did a lot. It feels like mostly, m m mostly because it was all it, it was all a man of heat. And then it was pain. <laughs> it was emotional pain. It was good, but pain. And then we can go explore with Team Charm through Aegis Cave, which is super cool. I didn't expect, like. The Team Charm, ep like, prequel episode to come into effect in the post-game. That's actually really cool. I am sad because I still want Armaldo to uh, show up for <laughs> Wigglytuff. That would have been cool. Like, Armaldo showing up and, like, meeting the guild. And he was just like, I don't know what's going on here. But man, you've grown up, Wigglytuff. Something like that. Also, they knew what they were doing for those three Pokemon being the beautiful Team Charm. Exactly. They're like, hey, what if we have a team of girls that everyone finds hot? What should their team leader be? Lopunny, the Playboy Pokemon. But yes, I do believe that that will be it for now. And next time, we'll, yep, talk to everybody, talk to Krogunk. 
manage our inventory and stuff, and then go to Aegis Cave and continue the, like, story, story post game that I really like. <laughs> Next stream, Saturday at 5? Exactly! Because I'm trying to stream my a normal schedule of Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday all the way at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And next time, we will go to Aegis Cave following in the footsteps of Team Charm, Saturday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yes. But, <laughs> maybe Friday? No, just Saturday. Because I'm trying to keep to a schedule and make it so it's good. Aegis Cave has an unknown riddle. If worst comes to worst, I, I can look up, like, a unknown alphabet to English. Because, like, the, 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 the Pokemon Legends Arceus unknowns kind of kicked my ass. So, if worst comes to worst, I'll just look up the answer. I'm here for a chill ride. But I will give it an earnest attempt of, like, try to decipher it on my own. Look up, like, a unknown to English thing just so I can properly, like, do it myself. <laughs> You got that and sounds good, yes. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw, you can find everything that I do through my link tree, which is linktr.ee slash neonicywings. So if you want to watch the edited content that I've made in the past, and I swear I'm going to make edited content again in the future, but brain and life, there's my main YouTube channel. If you like streaming, there's my Twitch and my gaming YouTube channel, and also on my gaming YouTube channel, all these here streams get uploaded to... After the fact, as well as if I ever get the urge to just play a game on my own time so I don't have to have a set stream schedule for playing that game, I can always record a game on my own time and maybe upload it as a series like I did for Fire Emblem Awakening. But if you want things like my art, similar to my little character in the corner, my link tree has links to all the sites I use for art, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Tumblr, Blue Sky, which just went public for signing up. If you want to read my writings, there's some links in my link tree to some stories I've written. And if you want to be super kind, my Patreon, which is just a donation drop thing at a jig, can also be there. So if you're kind, you can throw a dollar do my way. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And thank you very much to the people whose efforts went into creating the Expanded Sky Mod ROM hack of Explorers of Sky. The link to that can be found in the description of the YouTube streams and YouTube videos of this here series. But yes, thank you very much. Be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. Thank you, everybody, and good night. Good night.